Well, another top flight eight event program is set down for decision at Club Angle on Saturday night and I'm hoping Jason Grimson can certainly dominate the first half of the program. I've tipped Jason to win three of the first four races commencing the opening event with the vastly improved race choice of fast beginner nicely drawn, drops back to a suitable grade after a very brave second behind Cash and Flow here last Saturday night. So this does look an ideal assignment for race choice who should take a power of running down. Hello over to race three, I'm tipping number one, I'm Serengeti, who was coming off a very unlucky run here last Saturday night. He won the previous Tuesday in fine fashion, and then last Saturday night he was balked for a run after being behind the leader on the pegs, and when he did get it clear, only in the last 30 or 40 metres, he hit the line strongly, there's no doubt with the run earlier in the straight, he wins the event, I'm Serengeti, so I'm expecting him to make amends. Then Hello over to race four, once again Jason Grimson comes to the four here with number two, the stunning nun, a very consistent five-year-old mare. Now, the stunning nun has been placed in the past two starts at Wagga. She's finding a suitable race despite being up in grade on Saturday night. She draws well and everything that joins a Jason Grips the stable of late just wins first up and I'm expecting the stunning nun to be no exception. Over to race five, the feature event on the card features the likes of Alfred Orlando, Ignatius and Star Galleria going around. It's going to be an outstanding event. Barrier one suits Alfred Orlando. He's coming off a very strong win when patiently driven by Jack Culligan. He drove Alfred Orlando a treat on that particular occasion. I'm expecting from gate one, Jack will be able to give Alfred Orlando every possible hope and he'll prove the one to beat over his stablemate Star Galleria and of course Ignatius. All over to race seven, I'm going to give Major Roll another chance. Nicely drawn in gate two, drops down to a very suitable race for his particular class. He's still in a win here at Menangle, Major Roll. He was first up for Belinda McCarthy last Saturday night. He played up in the score up, missed it by 100 yards and just tailed out for the rest of the race from that point onwards. He just wasn't in the mood last Saturday night, Major Roll. But if he comes with his A game this time around, he will be very hard to beat, improving to be one of the better bets on the cards. So they're my five specials from Menangle over to Melton. Also on Saturday night in race five, number one, Explicit Castle, a very consistent performer, ideally drawn. Over to race seven, despite drawing the back row, a fitter, Jillaby Nitro, will be very hard to beat. While in race eight, nicely drawn in gate four, an intriguing race for Max Delight. There's only a small field, but three or four have very bright prospects. But I think Max Delight, a very honest performer, will prove very hard to beat. So they're my thoughts for both Club and Angle on Saturday night and Melton on the same night. Until next time around, good punning.